Okay, uh, some of the latest happenings in the world of Lucha Libre. Now, obviously, Lucha Libre is, of course, Mexican professional wrestling, and uh, normally set to two out of three falls match every match. Uh, obviously, you have to win two falls to become uh, the victorious. Now, uh, there's been a few happenings in Lucha Libre. Uh, I mentioned on a previous video, quite a few videos ago, about Dr. Wagner, Ellie Park, food. Now, this is, of course, continuing. Um, they keep uh, it's similar to The Rock versus John Cena feud in the WWE, although, of course, uh, they're both doing different projects, different uh, featuring against different opponents and in different situations at the moment, but are continuing to attack each other, niggling away each other. Uh, we have had um, them seemingly team up, and a couple of people, including Dr. Wagner Jr., uh, defecting from, apparently defecting from AAA to, well, it's supposed to be, a, it's a heel group within AAA organisation called La Sociedad. Uh, they're supposed to be a kind of heel group, kind of like the New World Order-esque. Uh, they're apparently uh, uh, on their own, supposedly independent and against the company of AAA. Uh, like I said, we've had a few, even had LA Park apparently join the, the group. This contravenes the Dr. Wagner feud that he's had, had he has had uh, going recent months, uh, but apparently they're still, like I said, they've still been niggling each other, attacking each other on the show, so obviously uh, they may be joined, joining this La Sociedad group, but it certainly seems that they're going to be not very uh, happy teaming with each other, uh, at least in this group, and they are continuing to go each other. I still believe this may lead to an Apuesta match, or a Cuesta match, or how you pronounce it, which is a betting match. You put something, each can, uh, wrestler put something on the line. It's normally either their hair or their mask. That's the most popular items to put on the line. Uh, they've been strong numbers for the last few months that one of them will lose their mask eventually to the other one. Uh, obviously, both are getting on in years. They are probably looking, start looking to slight, maybe slightly to retirement. Uh, they're both continuing to put in excellent performances, but we'll just have to continue to see because this La Sociedad thing is really just starting. We've had a few people jump onto this and uh, into this group. Like I said, it's very NW-esque, uh, as many organisations have had this similar type of deal uh, going in, in the last few, in the last what, 20 years now, almost since the NW appeared. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that situation. Obviously, WWE, uh, as I said, was in Mexico. Uh, more word, more uh, names are now appearing from blogs and internet rumours and news websites about who, of course, they invited to try out for their company in WWE while they were in Mexico. A couple of the names that seem to be going very much around some of the websites are Dr. Wagner 3, which is actually the son of the previously mentioned Dr. Wagner Jr., uh, who he's the third Dr. Wagner, of course, uh, and El Hijo de Park, which is interestingly enough, of course, formerly known as Black Spirit, uh, the son of El A. Park, who was, of course, the original La Parka, the one that fought in ECW, WCW, uh, appeared a couple of times for TNA uh, Re Impact Wrestling as well, uh, including the Battle Royal, uh, X Division Battle Royal, actually. Um, now, obviously, also in Mexico, and I mentioned it in another video again, this is just a, a, a roundup video, really, uh, Mil Mascaris. Now, I just got this mask out of this I know I keep going on about masks, but Mil Mascaris, I just got this mask, actually, uh, from Amigo Trader on eBay. Uh, very good, actual website. Very good for mask. I've not had a problem so far. Uh, it's kind of to the side. Uh, this is one of the traditional Mil Mascaris designs. Uh, you see it's with the M, the red M, uh, and the mask design. Uh, I also got very quickly, I'll show, might as well show you, a guy who's actually been talking to masks. Now, I know I keep going on about masks in my videos, but honestly, a lot of wrestlers, and it's continuing, it's been less than the last couple of weeks, but there's continual disqualifications. Now, like I said, it's two out of three falls, so sometimes it doesn't cost the opponent the match. Uh, but there's continual, uh, p a p some wrestlers, luchadors, continually to cause themselves a disqualification by ripping off the masks of the mask of, uh, of the uh, other luchador if they're masked of course they continually rip the mask off and uh, obviously the referee sees it 
it's an instant disqualification, it's one of the most disrespectful things you can do. Uh, like I'm a Houston car, I'm unmasked video, uh, like I say, this is quite a dummy video actually to be honest. Uh, I say, you know, that's the one thing you don't do is unmask a wrestler. Um, but Atlantis, he is being targeted absolutely unbelievably. This is the Mil uh, Atlantis mask. Uh, just listen, again, I've got that with a pack of three for a Mimigo trader. Uh, Atlantis, uh, La Sombre and Neil Mascaris. I'll show you La Sombre in a minute, that's of course uh, Atlantis is one of the most famous luchadors of course but he has been targeted by everybody every single match, everybody is trying to take off his mask he's another one like I said Ellie Park, Ellie Park Dr. Wagner Jr. feud they want, they, everybody thinks they'll one of them, at least one of them will take the other's mask Everybody is trying to unmask Atlantis and trying to get him, trying to trick him, trying to persuade him, trying to get him in any way they can to a mask versus mask match uh, in order to try to rip his mask off. Now we've seen previous veterans lose their masks such as the great uh, Blue Panther, he lost his mask. Uh, we've also seen of course Averno, he, he chose to unmask, uh, like I said he chose to do it, uh, threatened CMLL the, uh, the promotion in Mexico, the number one promotion in Mexico, the WWE of Mexico, he tried to persuade them to have him uh, lose the mask and then and if, uh, on one of their shows. And of course, if he said if he didn't lose the mask on one of their shows, because that's how much he loves the company, he wanted to un he wanted to unmask. The decision one of was one hundred percent, absolutely his, genuinely his, one hundred and ten percent. In fact, his choice to unmask. He loved the company. He loves the company so much. Although he's rumored to be one of the guys tried out for the WWE. If he does, like I said, there was rumors a few months ago that he could have possibly signed the WWE contract when they signed Mystical, now known as Um But that didn't that hasn't happened so far. Um, obviously, he chose to unmask it within CML, threatened to go an independent organization and lose some rubbish, horrible match, thirty second match to unmask, of course, the email realising his wishes and his love for the company gave him the mask and of course he's been on a tear around CML ever since. He's lost a couple of matches, he lost a tag team match re very recently this week, uh, the believe it taped last week and then shown this week, but he's on a, quite a tear singles competition and another one also that uh, has been on a tear around CML, uh, another, you know, I thought he was older than he was, I thought he was actually 26, 27, even 28, my age, around about my age. According to Wikipedia, um, his birthday was on November 3rd, so belated happy birthday to him. Uh, obviously we don't know many of these guys' real names, which is fantastic, because, like I said, you don't unmask a luchador without permission. Um, obviously, now this one, uh, this mask is La Sombra mask. La Sombra is, um, sorry, this camera, the, the actual uh, camera is actually delayed slightly, I don't know why it's jumping and it's slightly delayed. Um, but this is the La Sombra mask. Um, it's very much as you see Jushin Thunder esque. Uh, it's actually taken from a design his father actually uh, wore an, uh, as a wrestler. Um, he has been on a very much tear through CMLL recently as well. He is one of the very much high flying guys, really like a young Rey Mysterio Jr. Again, he's possibly going to. He possibly may stay in Mexico his whole career. He may go to America. WWE, TNA, who knows, we'll just have to wait and see, but he's only just turned 22 years old, according to Wikipedia, he's only just turned 22 years old, November the 3rd, apparently his birthday, uh, I believe it was, uh, I checked it before November 3rd, I didn't realise, I uh, just realised today's date, it was the 5th, uh, obviously it says November 3rd, so hopefully it, it was, he's either 21 or 22, probably 22 years old, he is one of the, he is honestly La Sombra, watch out for his videos, He's a fantastic high flying wrestler, uh, has a few different finishing manoeuvres, uh, he does a Brilliante driver which very much looks like the Mishinoku driver, he does a lot of, um, his one of his most uh, actual favourite moves is the swing, is a Asai moonsault uh, on the top rope to the outside, he also does a fantastic moonsault from the top turnbuckle to his opponent outside the ring. Uh, it's a fantastic thing. You've got to really watch some La Sombra matches. He is very young and very talented. So great things in his future. Uh, so he's been a bit of a tear. He's looking to gain contention for a couple of the middleweight titles. 
uh, first one of the tag team titles. Um, he's pushing for a title match at the moment with the officials, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, at this point in CMLL, things are really kind of um, I'm only in the middle of things because uh, due to the television, there's something going on called the Pan American Games, mainly you know, like Olympics kind of thing uh, in Mexico. This is I mean this has meant that some of the television stations are not showing the AAA and the CMLL as scheduled, uh, so. Obviously, CML and Triple are holding back on things. Now, Triple did have the Heroes and Mortals show um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, apparently, it was okay. I'm not seeing it. I'm not had a chance to go through and see any footage of it. Um, apparently, it's the, one of the biggest matches was the Sting El Macias match. You may remember Macias as Judas Macias, a uh, storyline of Abyss's brother in TNA. Uh, they had a couple of good, uh, decent matches, I suppose. Uh, couple of bad ones as well, but um, we had a couple of matches in Impact Wrestling and pay-per-views. Uh, it was very much a really a brawl match, uh, then a, a lot of people jumped in and the match was really thrown out and called the draw. Uh, so this is a couple of things, obviously it made it Neil Masker is invited to join the WWE Hall of Fame 2012, like I said in the previous video he accepted. Like I said, very much at this time of year getting towards Christmas, uh, getting towards the end of the year, a lot of Mexican storylines are really in the middle of stuff, uh, they will be really pulling back on some of the storylines until the new year, um, Lucha Libre sometimes tends to want to launch into the new year on the major matches, uh, on the major storylines, and very much to, uh, getting to, of course, Triple A is looking to their version of WrestleMania, Triple Mania of course, they're looking to, towards that, it's next year of course, they'll want to have their huge matches. Um, some of the guys of course, I then think some of the matches may be like I said, Triple, uh, La Part, Ellie Park versus Dr. Wagner Jr. Uh, Atlantis is CMLL of course, but he is, like I said, he's continually focused uh, on keeping the mask. Like I said, a lot of people are genuinely physically attacking him. I mean, obviously storyline wise, but they're attacking him, continually trying to rip his mask off and he's continually having to escape and having to run out the arena sometimes. It's very funny actually sometimes, some of the stuff. Uh, but again, it's very good stuff. Uh, CMLL is of course the best promotion. A lot, some of the, watching some of the San, uh, the San, uh, San Limit, Limite, uh, AAA programs which means no limits. Some of the stuff is like watching last week's again. Uh, see about so stuff like you said. If they genuinely pushed on the talent they had, they could be. They would have been one of about one of the best companies in the world uh, when it comes to ratings and exposure. Uh, but unfortunately, they do not have the television worldwide exposure that like, places like of course WWE has. Uh, so that's holding them back a little bit. But it's very good timing. Lucha Libre just now. We have had some great matches, some great feuds. Uh, so hopefully, uh, things. And the Lucha Libre will hold back until the start of the year. It's very much like Japanese wrestling. New Japan always uh, launches their year with the new with the Tokyo Dome show, which always has guests. No guests, I believe, have been announced so far for that match uh, for that show. Uh, though I'm going to go and search for it after I record this video and see whether there's any announcement so far of the January the 4th Tokyo Dome show for New Japan Pro Wrestling on who the guest company are. They always invite one or two guest companies. Uh, it should be announced very, very soon, if not already being announced who the guests are. Like I said, I will certainly be uh, looking for it now. So, certainly, I'm going to keep an eye on uh, who's been trying out for the WWE, who's uh, been signed by the WWE. Nobody has been signed from the tryouts yet. There's probably about 20 or 30 wrestlers actually invited to try out. Again, because of secrecy in Lucha Libre, uh, and because a lot of the guys don't want to get themselves in trouble with their companies, the, uh, many of them are actually invited by Rey Mysterio, WWE's Rey Mysterio. Uh, so, I'll keep an eye out, see any sudden signings by WWE in the Lucha Libre uh, market, and I will certainly uh, keep an update on who signs, who doesn't. Uh, another couple of videos hopefully will be on the way and certainly WWE uh, review video is happening on the 25th of November. So thanks and I shall uh, upload another video very shortly.